Hello guys. Today we're on tutorials. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Marshall Seven. It's your boy Marshall. Um, today we have a tutorial to get today. I felt like giving because I've been hearing a lot of this lately. And I put figure I uh, bring it up. Uh, today I'm gonna teach y'all how to write a 12 bar blues song. A lot of blues songs follow the same formula, which is 12 bar blues. They go so if you want to know that, so a lot, uh, so like there's like a, a lot. Like I heard a BB King song earlier. Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan does it. Um, uh, Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. Yes, they actually do, David. Yeah, it might not sound like it. Yeah, um, ironically, some kind of uh, educational song I heard in science. Yeah, and they all have like the same kind of beat. Now I liked my myself to all. I like myself to all bar blues. It's like the best redundant thing. Honestly, this is like the rhythm, pretty much the whole time, and then it has also the same kind of ending. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I got my guitar today. Um, so today I'm gonna teach you how to to uh, make a tall bar blues song. So um, you got like a uh, you can do like a little lick at the end. So we're gonna take Pride and Joy for an example by C. Ray Vaughan. It has the Yeah, you get it. <laughs> yeah, and, and it usually same, follows the same kind of format. Actually, adjust this. Okay, there we go. Follows like the same kind of format. Like, it goes to another chord. Yeah, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna teach y'all to do it. So, what you need to do, you need to get you need to get a bass chord basically, like that's the key of the song basically. And it and it doesn't hurt to add some looks in there, like. Yeah, like you need to set a bass note, so like, well, well, not like the bass, like, the, like bass as in B A S E, not B A S S. But yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So you stick with the uh, begin, you stick with the bass chord for four four measures. And then, and then, and then for. Two measures for measure five and six. You switch to another chord. It's gotta be the same scale usually, so yeah. And then go back to the bass chord for one for two measures. And then you go to a uh, chord like your other chord. Then you uh, go back to your second chord. And then you go back to your. Um, <clears throat> Your bass chord, and then you go. Mm -hmm, doesn't hurt to add. Yeah, I'm using Pride and Joy as like my bass right now. Like, what song? Um. So usually it, it's so the thing is it's always twelve measures. Yeah, like here I'll count it for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, sa. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can't imagine I've done the measures, but you get the point. It's like one, two, three, four, three, and then, and then, and then, and then, and yeah, you get it. But um, usually it starts with an intro. And there's really no such thing as a chorus or a verse. Like, it's all the same. Like, there's not like a chord change. Like, it's not like Kids of America where he changes coins like chords like a billion times out of all the billion covers. Like, out the dirty old window, can it be anybody 
Ain't just a rushing by. I just can't lose the And it goes to like. Yeah, it's nothing like that. It's like you keep the same kind of chord going. So you have an intro where you just you can do like let's see Ray Vaughn does. Doesn't hurt to do that. Like people usually do, do like an intro, like like for example, like a Johnny like some kind of yeah. So like that, I don't even know. But you could do like way faster, like. It doesn't have to be like that. Usually the ba usually blues chords follow, like you could do. It doesn't always have to be, but it's usually a lot like that. Usually like that, especially the a little slower. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, it doesn't hurt to do this either. Like a blues punk song. Yeah. So, a little intro lick. Like, I'm going to use, I mean, music probably enjoy as a good example because that's like a very bluesy song and it's very popular too. And it's also Southern because, and I'm from the South anyway. So, yeah. And I'm in the South right now. I'm in Texas. So, yeah. So, yeah. And usually, an intro would be like, would be like the, like the uh, progression, 12 measures obviously, without any vocals, and then you add a progression with vocals, and then, yeah, and then you can also add like, another one as well, that doesn't hurt to do either, basically it's CJ on the Brad C. Ray Vaughn song I guess. Blue, blue, it's blues in general. If you, if you listen to like BB Kane, Muddy Waters, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Chuck Berry, I guess, you'll know they fall in, or cream even. With the 12 bar blues, you'll know the format. So yeah. So the, the great but dirtiest part is it's literally every progression, well, maybe except exception for the intro, but like, like with like, uh, you don't have to make that 12 measures. It's just like a nice and short, sweet lick. Like it's like four measures roughly is probably about the safe bet. And twelve measures. The great thing about it is it, it's going. It's twelve measures throughout the whole song. So yeah. And then you go through like the singing twice, like the verse, I guess, or they even call it chorus verse. Then there's like a guitar solo, usually after those two, like like here. Sorry, I'm not, not the best song. And it doesn't hurt. I mean, you could do it 12 measures, but you can, but it's, it's, it, it it works if you double it anyway, like to 24 measures. Yeah, it's soul based. It's basically just adding like two progressions of solos, but you're not merging one, which is 12, and obviously 12 times two is 24. So yeah, you're merging two, 12 measures, two groups of 12 measures and making it to two times two, 24. We're doing some math. Why not? Yeah. Shout out to my math teachers I've had. Um. Let's see. And then it doesn't hurt to do like a stop, like for example, the in Fire and Joy. Well it's going back. That is why my baby love so hurry stop. She my sweet little bit. Yeah. I haven't played that riff in a while, so yeah. 
It doesn't hurt to do that. You can do that like after two progressions, like change it up a little bit. I keep the chords the same, obviously, but like the key, like the bass chords and all. Um, yeah, you could do that, and yeah, and then and then you can go back into that, I guess. You can do that, and then like keep it going. Then you can go back into like the regular scene, like well, yeah. I'm I'm using Pride and Joy's again. I'm using Pride and Joy's example is a perfect example. And then, and then and it doesn't hurt to do a solo at the end. Like a little shorter. You could go as long as you want, though. Usually 12 measures is, is good. Actually, yeah, then at the end of the 12 measures, well, I don't know if it's really counts as 12 measures. Yeah, sure, why not? And, and then every blue song ends the same. Like, like 12 bar blues is what I mean. Like, it was like. Yeah, something like that. So. If this video gets 10 likes, I'll make my own, I'll make a song using this format. So yeah. And then no, I'm not going to do Pride and Joy. Yeah. And, and it, you you know how to just do it like with other things. Like you could do it like. Or even, or even, even, or even you could do this. Oh. Ah, my finger is a thing. Something like that. Yeah. And you could do it as fast as you want. I don't even care if you do like. Yeah. There's that. You can, I, I, I mean. It's perfect whatever speed you want to go. You can even go faster if you like. Ah. Yeah. You can add some little licks in there, like. Like. Something like that or something like that. I don't even know. Yeah, you can definitely do that and 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 you can and like you can even slow down at the end like like that doesn't hurt to do. Yeah. So yeah guys, uh that is how you write a 12 bar blues so song. So if this video gets 10 likes, I'll make my own two 12 bar blues song. It knows and again it's not gonna be too pretty surprise enjoy. I'm not gonna rip off anything. Yeah. Yeah, so. I like 12 bar blues. Uh, yes, you could say it's redundant, but I can understand that. But like, it's traditional, it's like the same format. Like, like it's like the traditional format. Like, yeah. And then you get. Uh, that's. I was just playing something random there, anyways, y'all. But that's it for this video. To end this video, I'm gonna sing a 12 bar blues song. Well, part, part, make my own lyrics. It's probably gonna be pretty bad. But uh, to end this video, I'm gonna do this to do the outro. So let's do it. One, two, ah! I'm okay. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on all those notifications and have a great day. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Uh. Oh yeah, please like and subscribe. We upload daily anyway. 
We need only upload it for two day, 12 to 200 days in a row. <laughs> so you better subscribe. Ah, going off key, it's fine. You get the point. Subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace. Here. She forgot to do the outro here. Sorry, I know it's taking so long. Oh, subscribe to me Tomorrow's Jose And you will get a shout out if you subscribe publicly